Okay guys, so here we are again. So I have my rig connected down the city. So it is connected to the to this monitor on my life bag. Uh, to this monitor and that monitor in the corner there. Yeah, these two monitors are connected to the uh, main rig auto mode. Yeah. So can I like the same switch it on the switch it on something? Then uh this one well the can the main break is fine i can switch it on as long as i don't update the graphic drivers it works fine if i update the graphic drivers i get a gray screen so i'll probably just install windows and use it as a as a NAS or something just to store my files and things like that yeah because i have a lot of those big drives so if i put them in there okay yeah i'll use it for storage so yeah this one as you can see i've connected this and it's going to be a hub which is over there by my work desk in case I have if I want to use the PC you know the laptop so this this monitor over here is connected to the, to the laptop to this uh, HDMI port then this one is the one which I'm putting from it's an LG the other one on the work desk is an HP that one it's an HP then this one is an LG connected through the VGA port so it's the one I'm putting from whereas this one is going again to this monitor for gaming and things like that and that's a display port so over here I do have an empty spot I forgot what I wanted to connect on this but yeah I will remember I will definitely remember uh, then this one it's a 4 port USB hub so right now it has got three or three yeah it has got three already used one for the keyboard one for the mouse and one for my uh, steering wheel that one over there the pxn v9 pxn v9 and then uh, it's coming and it's over here connected over there so that's for ethernet but right now i've connected my ethernet to the box that's the blue wire over there it's connected to the box this one i'll use with a uh, tp link wi-fi card over there and this one is coming to this seven port USB up on my desk. Yeah, I can use it that way. So let me switch it on. Let me switch it on. I haven't even plugged in a charger yet. And there we go. It's on. So let's come this side. As you can see, the keyboard is on now. And we have uh, a monitor that's on now. So you can see there's actually three drives already in this thing. <laughs> that was too, it's too quick, you see. <laughs> yeah, because it's using an SSD, so it does boot up fast. Then this one, I have to change it to display port. Here it's on DVI because I was using the box right now. Because my main uh, monitor is this one, like I mentioned. So after it puts Windows on this monitor, it's going to load up this monitor. Let me just put the pin. Okay, so now there we go. That's the main monitor over there. That's the second monitor over there. And that's the third monitor over there. So all three are connected to the same laptop ish thing, which is why. <laughs> yeah, so like I had mentioned, that inside I already have the SSD, which looks like an. What you call it? It looks like a network card. So it's this one, which is 118 gig, and then I have this is uh, one terabyte AI pipes for gaming, and then I have this uh, SSD one, which which has Windows inside. So already I have three three drives over there, and then I'm gonna connect my other SSD, which I use for gaming as well. And then this I use for my for storing my uh, what do you call it for my uh, well I forgot it. for my videos my music everything is in there it's a terabyte and uh, just a few of the stuff which I need you know because we like softwares Windows uh, driver pick things like that then this one it's two, it's my backup it's a two terabyte including the other one which is so in there. And another one which is there another terabyte so i have like almost four terabytes of backup so everything which i download my videos my work stuff it's all packed up in this thing 
in case I lose anything this side, I have it backed up. And of course, I have it on cloud. I forgot to mention I've got my microphone connected over there as well. Right over there. That's my microphone and that's my uh, audio in. My audio out actually. Going to my. Yeah. So for my headphones, my camera, I'm just going to plug in the TC and check right now. I'm going to say dead LED over there. And there we go. So now it's fully on. Anyways, for for my headphones, because I do have gaming headphones. These ones over here. I'm going to use a uh, an audio card. I don't, I don't know where I put it. It has to be here somewhere. But uh, I have a second one also. Yeah, there it is. So I'm just going to use this. I'll plug it in over there. And there we go. So it has two ports over there, one for my microphone and one for my uh, for my for my headphones themselves, the speakers, and then the USB port I'll plug it into the app for my RGB over there. So as you can see, I'm gonna adjust this now. Let me turn on the amp. It's disconnected. The amp again is self-built, as you can see it's actually a box. <laughs> Actually, a busy box which now has got knobs for audio. I actually made this amp myself. Yeah, if I open that thing in there, yeah. it's a different story. Anyways, let's see. Um, let me try to run YouTube. I'm open a mini and then you can monitor the performance of the PC. Just in task manager. Just say very high, very high. Why is it blurry like that? Okay, let me point my camera. Let me the camera. Okay. Why is my camera this blurry? What did I do? Oh, okay, there we go. So Opera Mini Bowser is running there. So you can see the CPU is actually only using 4%. Let me play a video. Let me play a video. Uh, change the audio. Now the audio I'll have three. I have three options. The other one will be the NVDI definition. Actually, it's using this monitor, I think. Yeah, because it has even output. So there you can see USB out. That's this one over here. And then I have got speakers. So right. go to your browser. And so again, this is another Wi Fi card which I built for myself. Yeah, you can always use that as well. Once yeah, you can see I was updating a gigabyte. Uh, BIOS. Okay, so I'll go to performance over there. Yeah, yeah. You can actually see the Wi Fi is one which is really active. The GP is only at 9%, CP is at 13%, and then disk 0, disk 1, disk 2. So all of them are SSDs. It says so, but the HyperX is not really, it's not really an SSD, it's just a slim HDD. Although I've never actually checked if it has a spinning fan inside. It's pretty heavy, that's the point. An SSD is light. So I assumed it's a uh, yeah. So you can see there my GPU memory, uh, dedicated GPU memory is actually six gigabytes. Yeah, and uh, my uh, my memory, the total is actually thirty one point nine. That's thirty two gigabytes. CPU, it's a Core i seven. 37 40 yeah, yeah, it's a 3rd gen 2.7 base clock speed, but it can go as high as 3.3, 3.35, 3.34. It can go pretty high. Yeah, I don't know what else I can actually show you. I should open HW info, maybe it's gonna have better information over there. Uh, not since I only opened the whole thing. So actually, yeah, it says six gigabytes GPU and also HW info says the same thing. So there you can see two gigabytes. What's Okay, two gigabytes into. Okay, let me pause this. So it's now it's making nice for me. Uh, uh, GPU two point zero. 
that's the Intel and the CPU. So if I say GPU one now, you can see it actually is a six gigabyte NVIDIA 970M. Yeah, it's a pretty big GPU. Yeah, and uh, the CPU is right over there. There's only one CPU, right? It can't be more than that. <laughs> yeah, so 22 nanometer CPU. Yeah, that's all now. And is, yeah, let me open a game and let's see how it performs. Although I have already done that, I've already checked that. So I'm gonna open Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's pretty demanding that one. I'm sorry about my camera guys, I don't even know why it's being blurry like this. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna move this to the side over here. So that we can be monitoring it. Uh, so let me switch on the sensor so that we can also monitor the temperatures. Although, so okay, modern offer is already running there, and we have like 58, 59 degrees on the CPU and 33 degrees on the GPU. Core temperatures 59 degrees, GPU temperatures 30, 33 degrees. So it's and modern offer is actually already on. No. Resume, can you resume the following mission? Yes. Nearly complete. Yeah, my General Shepard, you are mine with Captain Price. My amp is pretty loud, and actually, one side is connected right now. The left, uh, the right side. This world looks more. The left side is not even connected. That's why my sound is more on to the right than on the left. We were wrong. So no matter after the US you know, is scapegoat, next thing you know there's flames everywhere. What's this image you're sending me? Yeah, you want to buy an old fire, sir? You set off a bigger explosion right next to it. Uh, like Sucks away the oxygen, snaps the like flame. Two hours or so Price, you've been locked away too long. It was Better get 80 something degrees and the GPU was really in the 60s, 60s, 70s. Price, I can barely see Roach is shooting my satellite feed. Too much interference. So you can see the response, guys. It's... It is pretty responsive. It, to be attacked. To the it doesn't drag, it doesn't lag, things like that, anything. It's pretty good. It's like decent. So I will add some gameplay at the end of this video so that you guys can see. So yeah guys, I hope this video is a bit interesting to someone. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed it and uh that you don't mind the mess in my room yeah it's pretty too much but thanks for watching guys see you in another one